Um, well, obviously getting in the gym and finding a personal trainer to help me. Um, but the thing that I found is I originally, just because I was getting in the gym and starting to eat a lot, um, I put on some weight and then I randomly started losing weight and I, I, I started freaking out. I'm like, where's all this weight that I was putting on going? And uh, what I found was I was actually overworking myself. I was in the gym six to seven days a week and doing like two a days and um, I was actually burning more calories than I was taking in. So that was my biggest problem, so I actually had to cut things back. Um, and whenever I would like break a sweat, my trainer would have me stop and relax. Um, Kristen teased me about that on set a lot. Um, but don't, don't freak out, you might burn a few too many calories. <laughs> <laughs> but the hardest thing for me was eating. Um, eating constantly and good foods, but always... Health tip, eat constantly. <laughs> <laughs> but you should give a shout out to Jordan, right? I mean, your, your trainer. Yeah, my, my trainer, Jordan Yom, um, is... Uh, He's really, really talented, and he, uh, he helped me a lot with this process, and he's always on set, like, shoving food in my mouth. I'll, I'll literally, I'll be talking to somebody, and he comes up with a plate, and he's like, take, and he wakes me up in the morning, he's like, take this protein shake, and I'm like, dude, I'm sleeping. Um, but yeah, I uh, have a lot of people to thank. First, I want to say thank you for coming to San Diego Comic Con. There are uh, literally thousands of people here that really needed you to come. <laughs> My question is, how much have you guys prospered from everything? Like, has it made you stronger being Edward Cullen? <laughs> and this is to everyone. Sorry about that. Just a end of the day it's just a part you just go into it and like you know and it, 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 your life you, you know you're walking on the street i mean has a really bad analogy you step on like a little stone and it just kind of flies away and you have no idea where it's going and then you kind of and then you're just trying not to drown afterwards <laughs> and that's uh, yeah that's my life <laughs> that sounds really terrible that's a really bizarre <laughs> I, I would actually like to, I'm sure you'd much rather hear from, from the actors, but I would like to say one thing, which is that he, I, the, the last film that I made was was recut by the studio, uh, and my, my uh, experience with it ended up being quite a terrible one. And this has been entirely different, both dealing with, um, with Summit and, and dealing with this young cast. And uh, as much as, uh, it, it, you know, they've said some very kind things about me, uh, which I told them to, but um, uh, but it's been a tremendously rejuvenating process for me. I, I now remember uh, how much fun it can be to, to make a film, and that really comes from the people that you work with. Okay, let's do one more quick question, and then I gotta cut it off. So one more quick, quick question. Taylor. Um, I'm one-eighth Paiute and one-eighth Cherokee Indian, and so you playing a Native American, have you uh, learned anything about them or their cultures or uh, any of their traditions? Um, yes. For Twilight, I actually had the opportunity to have some Quileute um, Indians come to Portland, and I actually had the opportunity to have dinner with them and talk to them and the main thing I was focusing on is I wanted to learn more about the kids my age and what they like to do in their free time and I was expecting something really different and I was expecting to have to change myself you know to be able to do that but I, I asked this kid who looked around my age I was like so what do you do in your free time what do you what do you do for fun he's like ah uh, you know, I play basketball, I go to the beach, and I was like, what do you do at the beach? You throw the football around? He goes, no, I check out girls. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> it was really funny. So, I, the interesting thing that I learned is that they're just like me. They do the same things I do. Actually, check out. Let's X that. So yeah, it was awesome to have the opportunity to meet
meet with them and learn more about their legends and stuff. And uh, it, it was really great. I'm really thankful that they came uh, down to Portland from Forks. Ch Taylor, uh, Taylor actually speaks, speaks some Quilly in, in New Moon. It's true. It's true. I do get to say a Quilly line. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys to hear it. It's kind of <laughs> So before we wrap things up here, I, I do want to ask one more question to the whole panel, and maybe Chris, we can uh, start with you and, or, and work our way down. Um, I just was wondering if you could each kind of touch upon the increased size and scope of Newton over the first movie. 